Good morning everyone. This is Swapna. Welcome to Machine Learning Video. Today's our topic is Appropriate Problems for Neural Network Learning. In artificial neural network, learning is a well suited to problems in which the training data corresponds to noisy, complex sensor data such as inputs from cameras and microphones. Artificial neural networks suited for problems such type of which contains can be noisy as well as the complex sensor data if it is coming the new inputs from cameras and microphones these type of problems are well suited for the artificial neural network. The back propagation algorithm is the most commonly used artificial neural network learning technique. It is appropriate for problems with the following characters. In artificial neural network, most commonly used algorithm is back propagation algorithm. Which will suit the appropriate problems for, for this uh, applying the back propagation algorithm and artificial neural network is if it has the following characters that uh, type of problems can well suited for the back propagation algorithm to apply on artificial neural network learning. First property or first characteristics is instances are represented by attribute value pairs. So if any instance is represented as the attributes and value pairs, first characteristics it satisfies to use the back propagation algorithm in artificial neural network. For this, in the last video and last class, we saw the example of Alvin, Alvin vehicle, autonomous vehicle example, which uses the artificial neural network here. So, to, re to consider this, the instances are represented by linear attribute and value based characteristic. In Alvin example, input attributes may be highly correlated and independent of one another. Input values are real values. But that Alvin example or Alvin economist making inputs are given like this. Those are all, that are all given as the attribute and value based. Next characteristic is the character, sorry. The target function output may be discrete valued, real valued, or vector of several real discrete value attributes. So, previously, before uh, coming into the uh, topic of artificial neural network, uh, what is the decision tree learning? Generally, it suits for a discrete value target function only, target value only. Here, artificial neural networks. In suit for discrete values as well as a real, a real value or a vector of several real discrete valued attributes if it is containing target function that are also suitable for artificial neural network learning technique. In our example, the Alvin system, the output is a vector of 30 attributes. So, in last class, we saw that Alvin example in that we showed that. Uh, Artificial neural network generally uses for that Alvin autonomous vehicle in that its output is combining its output as the output of vector of 30 attributes each corresponding to a recommendation regarding the steering direction. These attribute values generally represents the steering directions. So that is second characteristic instances. Attribute value pairs, target function may be discrete, real, or vector value function. Next, the training examples may contain errors are also suitable for ANN learning methods. That means these are the strong enough, robust to noise data in the training also. That is also one characteristic of this one. And next one, long training timings are acceptable. Uh, network training algorithms typically require longer training times than the decision tree learning. When comparing with the decision tree, it, it can accept longer training times also. These training times generally ranges from few seconds to many hours also, depending upon the uh, 
factors such as number of weights and number of training examples. So, it has, I think, uh, till now we have four characteristics. First one is instances are represented as attribute and value base. Uh, second one is target function may be the discrete value, real value, or vector type of thing which will contain the discrete and real values. Third one is the training examples may contain errors also, it accepts, it is strong enough, the artificial neural network is strong enough to handle that. And one more characteristic, long training times are also acceptable when we are comparing with the decision tree learning algorithms. These timings may range from few seconds to many hours. And generally, these timings depends upon the factors of number of weights present in the network and also number of training examples we are considering. On that also, it, uh, timing is de depends. Next characteristic is fast evaluation of learned target function may be required. It accepts longer time for training. Here, one more characteristic what it is specifying here is fast evaluation of the learned target function it required. Whenever the training, it can accept the longer times. But when we are coming to the evaluation point, it requires fast evaluation one. Although ANN learning times are relatively very long, evaluating the learned network may apply the subsequent instance, it is very fast. Several neural networks uh, like our whatever the example is the uh, we took and we are covering all the characteristics with comparing with the example of all wind autonomous vehicle, this is having the several times per second. Continually updating its steering command as the vehicle drives forward. That means it is evaluating very fast and taking the decision and applying that one on the steering, steering mode, steering commands and vehicle drives very forward. Next characteristic is the ability of the humans to understand the learned target function is not important. Super. No need of humans to understand the learned target function here. No need of that. Here, weights learned by the neural networks are very often difficult to human understand. Artificial neural networks, they themselves calculate the weights. They themselves calculate the weights by applying the algorithms. They themselves calculate and adjust the weights according to the environment. According to the environment, and they learn. They learn according to the target function. So, these are not uh, important to understand by the human. No need of that one. Learned neural networks are less easily communicated to humans. These are not easily communicated to the humans. The back, back propagation algorithm for training multi-layer networks of such units consider the several general issues such as the representation capabilities of artificial neural networks and nature of hypothesis space overfitting problems and alternatives to the back propagation algorithm. And here, whatever the characteristics are there, till we now study it, that are completed. And here is another one little bit of the issue. What is that means? Uh, it may suffer with the overfitting problems. This overfitting problem is we already covered what is meaning of overfit? That we already covered in the decision tree learning. Overfitting. Meaning of that overfitting problem. So this one also may suffer with that overfitting problem. So that we can call as a general issue. So one the detailed example is also presented applying the back propagation within the generation and directions are provided for the this operation. So, we can give further one more detail application uh, example. So, you know, whatever we took that uh, all in autonomous vehicle system that already we shown as an example in that uh, previous videos, and also for every characteristic to analyze, we gave the detailed example. We took that example only and we gave the detailed explanation for that uh, which will represent every characteristic. 
so this is about the so which type of appropriate problems which type of problems are suitable for artificial neural network and also what are the characteristic requires that are all we covered first characteristic is the strands are represented with the attribute and value pairs second one is target function may be discrete value real value or vector third one is artificial neural networks can allow the errors in the training data because it is robust next it also accept when come long training times when comparing with the decision tree layer decision tree layer and next one is it requires fast evolution it requires the fast evolution and uh, whatever the target function when you know, the target function is there no need to understand no need to understand and that there is no importance to uh, to understand the ability to understand that uh, learned function by the humans next it is the one general issue is there that it may it may also suffer with the overfitting problem and whatever the characteristics are there that we given i'll say detailed explanation with the one example which we are taking from starting onwards with the artificial neural networks that is the alvin autonomous way by this i am concluding this video we'll meet in the next video thank you